Good morning guys, welcome again to Tech Screw TV. Next project, unnamed as yet. Beautiful Melbourne day. Uh, at a client's house, we're gonna do a roof restoration. Um, firmly in my comfort zone, doing this sort of stuff. Uh, it's a metal roof. Uh, it'll probably take me a couple of weeks, a number of episodes. Today's the first day, got deliveries today. Um, sheets coming, roof sheets, metal roof sheets coming. Uh, I'll keep you updated throughout the day and uh, we'll see how it all unfolds. All right, so we've had some of the materials delivered. It's an insulation. Here's the project. Uh, it's probably an 80 year old house. There's been lots of extensions on it. It's got a green roof. It's a bit tired. Um, there's some different shades of green. It's about 400 square metres in total of metal roof here. The very top roof has been re-roofed within the last few years. Um, I'm just focusing on these front bits, these front, this bit here, 12 metre stretch going that way. And this bit here, about eight metres going that way. There's some box cutters to replace. It's going to be quite a tricky job. All right, so a bit of an overview of what we've got to do. This roof here, either side of the ridge, is getting replaced and all the way back past me to the end. So that's all getting replaced. And the roof underneath all that black tubing, that's getting replaced. That's the solar for the pool. The box gutter through the middle is all getting replaced. And today, I've got to replace the box gutter. It starts from here, that's the high point, it's supposed to be the high point, and drain down that end. It doesn't drain very well. So I've got to strip all the roof temporarily, rip the box gutter up, take that bottom weatherboard off. I've just noticed there's heaps of electrical wires that are clipped to the timber. I'm gonna to have to drop them. We've called an electrician to come out and help, or to do it, I should say. And then we have to get my carpenter friend here to do all the carpentry and reframe underneath the gutter so it all falls down that way properly. So there's an air conditioner to deal with. I won't be worried about that today. That'll be the next day. Oh, there's gonna be lots of different days here. This whole roof here is getting replaced. So weathering that, sealing that to the wall is gonna be a bit of an issue. That's gonna be a fun job. And there's a few chimneys to flash around. I'll flash around that one, that one. And this top roof was redone know, four or five, six years ago. So all I'm doing at the moment, I'm gonna strip this side of the roof, leave the air conditioner there, strip either side of that. Strip that weatherboard off, the very bottom one. Rip the gutter out, and then I've committed, then I've got to redesign uh, some new timber boards. Righto. Good progress. Took the bottom weatherboard off. Taken as many sheets off as I can. I'm gonna leave those two in the middle where the air conditioner is. So I'm gonna rip the old gutter out, clean it out first, take it out, and then redesign the, uh, the timber that supports the gutter. So there's all the shit in the gutter. Delivery is here. Must be about 11 o'clock. I'm gonna back the truck down the driveway and hopefully dump all the roof sheets in it somewhere, somewhere helpful. So far, so good. This is the hardest part of the job. Uh, I wouldn't try this. I wouldn't try doing this. If you weren't an expert at it, you've got to be licensed in Melbourne and Victoria and many states of Australia to do roof work. It comes under the plumbing banner. I'm not sure in other countries, but you've got to know what you're doing. All right, the delivery's here, just fitting through. Maybe not fitting through. I'm 
plough through anyway. Good, God bless him. This old job is coming along nicely. Just got trying to get the gutter out now. And it's old galvanized iron. This whole job is pretty much a proactive maintenance job. All has to get done at some stage. We're in another Victorian coronavirus lockdown. And now's a, as good a time as any. So the client just wants the client just wants um, to be proactive with his maintenance. And as you can see, it's probably a good thing. We've got some galvanic reaction, some dissimilar metals have caused a bit of rust there, I would assume. So we weren't far away from having some roof leaks. There's some fixings that have gone through the, the gutter, which is not ideal. We'll rip this gutter out and do something with this copper pipe, water pipe or gas pipe. I'll have to work around it and then move on from there. Alrighty, welcome back. Well, so far so good. Running out of the day though, the pressure's on, no time to stop. I've stripped all the timber work out from underneath the gutter. And I've marked where my whaling board's got to go. I'm going to fix that timber. I'm going to fix that timber there. And fix it to the, the studs. So I've marked my high point here. My low point down there, giving it the right amount of fall. Now I'm going to screw that timber on. And then work out how I'm going to get the next one on the other side. Because all those rafters are at different heights. See so how we go. Alrighty, I'm getting a bit tired. I've got some of the gutter board in. And the technique I'm using is just the board up against the building on the right hand side, leveling across, putting the second board on, screwing them down. And then I've got some 20 mil plywood, which is well strong enough sitting on top of them too. I'm running out of time, so I better get stuck back in. Oh, it's four o'clock. I've just about run out of time. Didn't have time to get any more videos in. So I slapped the board down, put some screws in it, and then I had to root around with this gutter. It was custom made, so I had to get the timber board installed according to the dimensions of the gutter. So it's wider at the base at this end and narrower at the base down that end and that accommodates for the fall. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna leave the bottom batten off. Uh, I'm just gonna run some of the existing sheets, uh, temporarily screw them back down because this is gonna get re-roofed again next week. Um, and I'll have to come back tomorrow and seal it a bit better. We're gonna get a little bit of rain tonight. I gotta to get my skates on now and get it all finished. Oh, it's been a big day. Oh, nice view from up here. Sometimes you can see the bay down at that end. I might as well walk down there. It's about five o'clock. I couldn't have left it any later. Off towards Western Port Bay, Port Phillip Bay, Melbourne. You got a protective film still on it. I'll take that off next week. I've just temporarily put the bottom weatherboard back in. Otherwise it worked out well. 
but it's been a big day it's gonna take me a couple of days to recover so everything's just put back on temporarily i'm coming back take it all off again uh, i'll come back tomorrow and do a bit more next job i've done that gutter next job is that gutter down there where the timber is so i've got to take off both sides of the roof and replace the gutter another big day there and then it's all the glory work so just in the nick of time dusk is upon us oh big job